This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. The uh, next match is for the four way for the WWE title. It's John Cena defending against Randy Orton, Sheamus and edge. Sheamus is going to win the four way and the world title. Uh, Orton gets a big pop at first edge gets some booze, but not as many as you'd think. Sheamus is booed the most. And of course, Cena comes out and he gets his typical mixed reaction, more booze than anyone, but uh, not more cheers than Orton. That's according to Dave Meltzer in the wrestling observer. So this is the big show and this is for the world title and it's a John Cena match. I assume you were the agent for this one. I'm sure I was three star match. Um, after this is over, Cena does an interview saying he's not mad about losing the title because that comes and goes. He was mad that these guys haven't earned their way into the WWE and they're doing what they're doing. Of course, he's talking about the inevitable NXT guys who are going to attack and lay out the Hart dynasty and Evan Bourne. It's, uh, quite the move here. You even see skip Sheffield who we know is going to go on to be uh Ryback lay out John Cena with a clothesline. And then Wade Barrett would use the forward fireman's carry and Justin Gabriel hits the four fifty, and the NXT guys chase Sheamus to the back. It's, it's a scene here where we're doubling down on Nexus. And as a result, Sheamus is your world champ. What'd you think? So after you lose the, the world title to Sheamus, then doing a promo about anything else to me feels just a little hokey. I mean, you're going to, you're going to lose the, the greatest prize in sports. And other than that being the focus of what you're talking about, I mean, what is there to say? I know I lost, but then the nexus to come down, you know, and beat the piss out of John. Where were all the other baby faces? Did he have no friends? Right. You know, you go back and look at stuff that might have sounded and seemed, you know, like a, a great idea. But then you think it through and you go, okay, if John is going to do that type promo and not be crying in his milk, okay, he'll get a return shot, you know, back at Seamus and he'll make good on that promise if he does. And when he does, you've covered that part of it. But at least if you would have sent down some baby faces of consequence to try to help John, and it's just feeding that machine called Nexus, which, like I said earlier, you know, if you get them hot, they can be attacking heels and baby faces. They'll be a separate entity unto themselves. If they would have came down and tried to help, they be in some baby faces and there have been more carnage, it would have just made that thing... Um, feel a little more real, a little stronger, not like does John Cena not have any friends? And that's probably how it felt in that arena. That being your top baby face, not sure that's a good thing. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.